I fell over top of a log. I had uh, compressions in my lower lumbars. I had several uh, busted ribs. And my head hit the ground like a pumpkin. So I made it into the house and I'm upstairs and uh, the wife says, what have you been doing? And of course, when I left, I just left. And uh, wasn't making any sense to her. So she put me in a car and away to the hospital we go. You know, Mr. Reed had uh, been admitted to the hospital with stroke symptoms. He'd been transferred from an outside hospital. And the important part of his history was that he had had a traumatic fall. One of our goals was not only to treat him for acute stroke, but then to investigate what put him at risk for the stroke and whether it was related to that previous fall. And we did later learn that he had had um, an injury to the carotid artery. Internal carotid artery, right where it hooked onto the brain, it had uh, torqued and the inner lining had a flap on it. And this flap was preventing a full blood flow to my brain, that's why he's having the strokes. I spent some time talking to uh, uh, Mr. Reed and his wife and uh, explained that he really was in trouble and so was I. And uh, when I, after I went over the case and explained, you know, what were all the risks, he said, well, why are you in trouble? And I said, well, because I'm the guy that has to do this. When your life, when your life flashes in front of you, you know, you tell your wife, sell this, don't sell that, do this if you have to, so forth. We're going to bury at Ebenezer, right? <laughs> so, uh... We, uh, we came up with a plan uh, among the different services, Dr. Tile, uh, the neurosurgeons, uh, Dr. Aziz, uh, the uh, cardiovascular surgeons and vascular surgeons, and um, uh, we stuck to the plan and we we're frankly very fortunate. To give credit to uh, Dr. Tail, he's a great guy. But I go up for, I still go back for a yearly checkup. And invariably the third question he'll ask me, are you staying, are you active Elmer? So I said to the wife, I said, next time he asked me that, you remind me, I'm going to take a picture of him that you took of me up my barn roof when I was 75 years old. I want to hand it to him. <laughs> Say, yes, I have been active. <laughs>